Inside the Barriers, brought to you by Bet Deluxe, serious betting for serious punters. Hello and welcome to the special Melbourne Cup edition of Inside the Barriers, brought to you by Bet Deluxe. The big one coming up on Tuesday, the time-honoured Melbourne Cup. The race that stops a nation. We've got the team here. Cuz is here. Hiya, Cuz. I'm good, Cuz, and um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Uh, I want to see, obviously, if Centivise is the real deal. Uh, obviously, there's a little a different dimension to the race this year because the imports aren't there. So, But still, I'm looking forward to it. Partners Prince, Paul Sebastiani. BM, how are you? Big, good. big, uh, big uh, week coming up Tuesday as well. And the punters pick, would you believe it? It's jackpotted again. What? Okay, a thousand dollar Dan Murphy's gift voucher <laughs> on the line. They couldn't pick the trifecta in the derby, so we're going to go pick the trifecta in the Melbourne Cup. Thousand dollar Dan Murphy's gift voucher. If you can pick the trifecta in order, leave your comments and selections in the Facebook section on the Bet Deluxe page. And make sure you review the Bet Deluxe app on your Google Store or on your App Store as well to make sure you validate those entries. So big Tuesday coming up, BM, and the weather's going to be a cracker as well. 30 degrees at Flemington. The rail will be in the two-metre position. A couple of fun facts for you, Kaz. Gate number 16. Gate number 16 for the favourite. Last time it uh, happened, gate 16 was Jezebel. Kiwi. Kiwi, 1998. Champagne and Jezebel up the straight, the two of them. <laughs> Great finish. Saddlecloth number two, Delta Blues, 2006. Big, uh, two big winners as well, and yeah. you just had to get Kiwi in there. I had Didn't to. you? <laughs> I'm Thunderstruck too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> By shocking, uh, Kiwi? Kiwi. <laughs> Let's have a look at them. Uh, Twilight Payment, up the top of the weights, 58. Goes up from 55 and a half last year, so a rise of two and a half. He's in form. You can't write him off, and he'll be rolling forward from a very, very kind gate and barrier two, Cuz. He'll be there for a long way. Uh, he could run first five, but I don't have him on top. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. Yeah. I think I think the, the map's favourable for him, I think, but uh, I just think with the weight increase, increase from last Good year... Good horse's weight. That's true. That exactly right. And I think he was well set up to win the race last year. And the, the ride was phenomenal from, from Jai last year as well. I don't think he's going to get his way. I don't think he's going to get the same way he did last year. And there's some big, big closers that are going to be in behind him as well. A couple of scoundrels, boulders like Knight's Order and horses like that pushing forward. Grand Promenade probably to offset its gate, going to go forward. That's probably going to make it hard. So he may elect to just come back from behind them. Yeah, uh, at the same time though, you've looked at his races through his whole career, he can roll at a good strong tempo, so um, it'll be interesting to see what Jai does, but no doubt, uh, I've ever written for Lloyd and Nick before, they will have a plan set in place which Jai will need to follow. Yep, yep. We come to the favourite in set of eyes, what price Paul? Yeah, $2.50, a clear outright favourite with betdeluxe.com.au at the moment and, and rightfully so. I mean, this pick offensive wins and the win in the Caulfield Cup was amazing. As they pulled up back to scale, B Preble came back and they said, what about the Melbourne Cup? He said, he will eat 3,200. They were his words. I can't fault the horse. I'm, as a rider, if I was riding against him, I'd be trying to find something in his armour that I could, you know, dent and, and, and create some way that I could beat him. I really can't find anything. Only thing I would say, if I had to say one thing, sooner or later the horse is going to come to the end of his preparation. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping it's not Tuesday. I think uh, just looking at the footage during the weekend again on uh, Sunday morning, the horse is relaxed. He's just doing some light work. He's, uh, he's in great order. Yeah, I think great too at, at the weights, like, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think the 57 kilos is really going to be much of an issue. And I think Brett Preble will offset that by going forward as well. I mean, if, if you're right up there, I don't think the weight really has too much of, of an issue. And he's, he's such a strong horse as well. So, look, for me, I mean, it's pretty obvious he's the clear, clear on top selection, I think. And I don't mind the fact that he's never had a run over 3,200. I mean, he's been to the 24. He's still got the fresh legs, yeah. I think. For, he's, still, he's, he's still got the freshness in his legs, which I think is going to suit him, suit him perfectly. Four runs beyond 2,000, four wins. Aggregate margin, 32.3 lengths. Exactly. Barrier 18 in the Caulfield Cup, wasn't a problem. Barrier 16, doesn't even worry better. Me. Yeah, yeah, doesn't worry me. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, um, he's got to be the favourite. Yeah. In exactly. a Melbourne Cup, I'd rather draw wide rather than mm. in. Yeah. So you've got a good long run down the straight. Now, you, you ride him. What are you, what are you going to do? I would roll forward, and the way the speed looks in the race, he'd probably end up third pair back, one off the fence. So 3-1, we yeah. would say. Uh, if they go slow, he might end up one out, one back. 
So that'll have him in fourth position. But I drew 18 on uh, Prince of Aaron the first time I rode him. I was one out, one back within 200 metres. So yeah. beautiful uh, ride. Don't worry about the don't worry about the barrier. Not about the fine. <laughs> <laughs> that that the pocket. <laughs> Surprised you had another baby. <laughs> now we get to the. Um, the horse that a lot of people are talking about, Spanish Mission, mm. coming here fresh, this outstanding form through Stradivarius. We all acknowledge that. It hasn't raced since, what is it, August? Yeah. Um, yep. And what about these speed humps of the, the vet inspections? I wouldn't worry about that. Um, it's a Melbourne Cup. They wouldn't take any chances if they thought he wasn't right. So the obviously the connections through the tutorage of, uh, I think it's Tony Noonan. Tony Noonan, Tony yep. Noonan yep. and his son here are looking yep. after the horse. So the horse will be spot on. For me, he's the horse to beat. I think as a punter, you've still got to put a query over it. Yeah, definitely. Look, he's a $9 elect at the moment, $2.90 to place. I, I have incentivised on top, but I think if he reaches double figures, which I think it will, he's going to be in my each way play in the race. I think, you know, Craig Williams is... Look, for the spring carnival he's had, he's not been in the greatest of form. What do they say? He's had a mare? Yeah, he has a little... But... You know, in these races, he, he always steps up to the plate. He gets us over the line. We all forget about yeah. it. <laughs> exactly. You know, you're only as good as your last ride. Exactly uh, right. And he's drawn a barrier, two barriers inside, incentivised. Just follow him. Get yeah. on the back of him. Yeah. Let him do Ooh. the donkey work Ooh. and bring you into it. Yeah. The, the great mare, and she is a great mare, very elegant. You look at her form, mm. ran super, came wide, first and second on the Cox plate, went back to the inside. She got into trouble last year in this race. A year on, can she win it? I don't think so. Uh, she can pull. She goes very keen. Mm. The barrier doesn't suit her. The trip, for me, is a question mark. Yeah, yeah. wide barrier. She's going to get back. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be a very similar run to what we saw last year. She's going to be 15, 16, 17 lengths last, and I just don't think she settles well she enough. She could probably to... run top six, but it wouldn't surprise me. But I don't think she weighs it. Yeah, yeah. She's a really twelve dollar elect, and uh, look, I, I think she'll drift because she'll go back, but. Can't knock the connections, but uh, yeah, I just think it might be a little bit of a bridge too far. Explosive of Jack, can he turn his form around coming back to Flemington? I don't think so. Uh, if the heavens open up, maybe, mm. but not right now. Yeah. The, Barri the, uh, yeah, Barrier four as well, get back, he'll be stuck in the ruck as well. Again, you can't doubt the trainers, we know what their record is like over 2,000 metres, but not for me. What about the chosen one? Terrible at Caulfield. He was, uh, he probably needs rain. Yeah, definitely, yep. agree. Uh, down to Delphi. Now, I wonder if the seven-day backup didn't work with Delphi. Ollie's going to get down to, what, 53 and a half yeah. for this the, Melbourne Cup ride? The backups of the Chosen One and the name of the horse escapes from our own, uh, the Delphi, yep. Yep. they both backed up into that race. They both failed. They finished mm -hmm. next to each other. So whether they both didn't back up, he'd be better now. And the Freedmans, they wouldn't have him in... Put him in the race if they didn't think he could yeah, win it. Spot on. And I think he might just, from barrier three, he doesn't have to... I was really surprised with Ollie charging forward yeah. in the Caulfield Cup as well. And look, I know incentivise obviously smacked him and Delphi finished well back. But I think if he can get a softer run, he's a big improver. But I, I'd rather see it before I, before I put hard-earned on it. He led the other day and we all say, oh, it wasn't the thing to do. But he oversees, he won the St. Ledger in front. So mm -hmm. he can do that. So for me, it was just... A, an off day? Yeah. Any ticks for Ocean Billy? Um, no. I wish, because he's a Kiwi. <laughs> Not only that. Uh, You've got to do better than that. Yeah, yeah. Billy Pumare, the uh, owner-trainer back home, he's like my uncle, so I wish him all the luck. Yeah. <laughs> How many uncles you got? <laughs> oh, if you're Māori, you're my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> And you're, and you're my cows. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Not, okay. for, not for me. Pen not through for Ocean me. Billy. Yeah. Salino, I just want to give a little shout out for Salino, only because I backed him in the Sydney Cup and he was too good. <laughs> and the riders coming back, uh, there's going to be a change, I believe. Yeah, and Ron, Ron Stewart. Yeah. So, him in the cups. Yeah. Is Robbie Dole on the Stewart. Stewart staying with him? He's, I think so. From yeah, he, he won the Sydney Cup on him. Yeah. And OTI told me, because I took him in a double and I've, got, I've backed him, um, and they just said, all Chris Wallace said from the start of this preparation, he'll be there at the pointy end of the Melbourne Cup. So Here he is. <laughs> I'm hanging my hat on that. He was good two runs ago at Flemington. He ran out of his skin. He just got back in the pack like so many in the Caulfield Cup. Bad draw. His bonus is a rock hard track, which it'll be oh, come Tuesday. It'll be not rock hard, but a good track, and that's what he needs. Yeah. Thanks, Kaz. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, get angry. Uh, yeah, no. I think Bossy's comments kind of summed the... Uh, Summed it up. Look, I mean, it's not. Harsh. Look, he was he was harsh. Um, you know, I mean, the story would be great, but it's a no from me. He's going terribly.
Yeah, I don't know if the... Fairy tale doesn't continue. No. I don't think it can do it twice, two no. years in a row. No, so. you, you look... Forget about the, the great story around it. The form is awful. Yeah. Awful. It's, it's shocking. Knight's Order, what's he doing there? Yeah. Pacemaker? Uh, yeah. yeah. We'll <laughs> leave it at that. Leave it at that. <laughs> per Sand, ran out of his skin, fifth last year, going pretty well. He is. Uh, and the stable obviously have him peaking for this race, which <laughs> they did last year, and look how good he ran. But I reckon he needs a little bit more juice in the track. I think so. That's that's exactly what I was what I was going to mention as well. Look, Bar Barry 11, he's, I think he's going to be afforded a nice run, midfield, one off the fence as well with a bit of cover. Uh, and the stable, we know, are going amazingly well. But, uh, yeah, probably a little bit outclassed, I think. I'll put the next two in a bracket. Cariff and Master of Wine. Yeah, not, uh, not, not for me. Yeah, <laughs> not me either. Me either. <laughs> Can I get a tick for Pondus? Yes, Ooh. I think. Just purely based on the connections. And I, he was heavily, heavily backed at Mooney Valley last start as well, which tells me that the horse is going well enough to suggest he can run well here and look he only gets in with the 52 and a half kilos and I think he's going to he's going to be my ruffy in the race I mean if I'm going to have an each way peanut on something it'll be on Pondus at the long odds guys I don't think he'll run first five but he'll run from first back to tenth yeah that's about right drawn alongside Twilight Payment same colours barriers one and two couldn't believe it uh Grand Promenade he um he comes through the bar at the right time <laughs> geez turned around this horse hasn't he mm. He sure has. Uh, he's a horse that he's going to relish the trip, obviously, as we know. Going to look the winner at some point. Sorry? Is he going to look the winner at some he point? He will at some point. He, he was afforded an outstanding ride by Johnny Allen last time. But at some stage there, he'll either hit the front or look to be coming to hit the front. So, top six. I think he's got a very, very similar mould to what Persan did last year, is that he was up for a while... He come through all those races where they were avoiding the handicap, and he's done the same here. The only, I mean, the only knock is look the wide barrier, barrier twenty one. But Kerry McAvoy, we know, is a, a genius in these in these Melbourne Cups. So top top four chance for me, definitely. McAvoy's won two Melbourne Cups from Barrier twenty three and Barrier seventeen. Star, he rode oh. Almandon for me as well, which is uh, God bless him. <laughs> Miami bound. Yeah, she's not going well. Needs enough. a I cut out of the track. Definitely yeah. needs the heavens open up. Yeah. What about Port Gualam? Was it? Number 18? Yeah, duck eggs here, and I yeah. think the duck eggs will continue. Had an issue last start. Yeah, not for She's me. ideal? Uh, rain, no. Yep. Yeah. Uh, future score, big query at the trip. Yeah, yeah. 200 yeah. to 1 probably should be 1,000 to 1. All right, Charlie Rose, is the Geelong Cup form good enough for the Dr. Drill form? <sighs> yeah, it is, because is I it? won the Geelong Cup on Prince of Aaron, mm -hmm. and then I ran second in the Melbourne Cup, so it is. Yeah. Is, um, this, is this horse a Prince of Aaron? I th think this horse is. For me, my roughy is Charlie Rose. Yeah. yeah. I think the only the only knock for me was that I remember Simon Wilde before the Geelong Cup was run, he the query about this horse was the rock hard track and there was a query about whether or not they were gonna run her. Look, she come through it with flying colours, uh, and they gapped the rest. Her and her and Dr. Drew completely gapped the rest. Barry Dean Holland is riding he, he's a jockey that people have... Look, he's not going to be the name up in lines, but he's riding fantastically well at yeah. the moment. He's probably in career best form, to be honest. Uh, top five chance, definitely in the market, yeah. suggesting that okay. at $15 and, and $4 and $4.20, the place only gets a 51 kilos too. Yeah, I think she's got... Uh, yeah, she could run top six. Floating artist, where's this horse going? I think going good, uh, but unlucky. Its last two runs mm. have been very, very unlucky. I've got Charlie Rose and Floating Artist around that same. Yeah. They can run first six type of type of area. So I just hope the kid doesn't get lost this time. It's been a few worries, hasn't it? Yeah, I think he's been lost. lost twice, yeah. too slow, and then was unlucky. A lot of faith in him. Yeah. I, look, I think look, this is a completely different race to what's come up against the last two starts, and I, first prep in Australia as well. He's been going fantastically well, but I think he's just outclassed here. And we go to a Great House. He won his way in with a pretty dominant performance. Was it good enough there on Saturday in the Hotham? I don't think so. I thought he he came and around well the, the Caulfield Cup. He came around the corner, and within 15 metres of the straight, you thought he was just going to round them up. He ended up just getting there. Yeah. Uh, for me, I didn't like the way yesterday he really sweated up in between his legs, under his gut. I didn't really like that, and he was a little bit keen down the back, uh, but. Chris Wallace, the trainer. <laughs> Need I say any more? Can't doubt him, can you? Yeah, not, not for me, though. Not no, not for no. me. Here's the, the hidden horse, Sir Lucan. 
It's his ninth start in a race, first start here in Australia, bossy to ride 50. Can you get a handle on him? You can't. It's tough to, isn't it, Cuz? Yeah. It is, it is. But Glen Boss has rang uh, Frankie Dettori. They've chatted about the horse. Frankie Dettori's uh, ridden in Melbourne Cups and he's stated to, uh, he said to Glen Boss, this horse is good enough to win the race. And the connections as well. Aussie Kerr, everything he touches just turns to, to gold. He <laughs> had the derby winner, it was backed off the map. Now he's got G Boss and Gay Waterhouse with this uh, with this Sir Lucan as well. Look, again, he's probably and as as I mentioned time and time again, he could be the nought on the roulette wheel that yeah. people don't really look at, and he could run a surprise race. But again, I mean, it's I mean, it's almost like throwing a throwing a dart at the dartboard, isn't it? Twenty six dollars, seven dollars a place, maybe an each way play, but uh, not not for me, BM. No, I, I, I can't sort of put him... Uh, there's Ottoman Roman form there, which is just ordinary form at the moment in the last couple of months, and I just don't think it's good enough. I think the only thing you could... Positive for me is Glenn Boss. He's made the Melbourne Cup his own, really, and he's probably the best two-mile rider going around, I believe. Interesting. Um, the record is four Melbourne Cups held by Bobby Lewis. That's a record that Ollie broke on Saturday back in the 30s. Four Melbourne Cups. Harry White, four Melbourne Cups. And there are three living riders riding in this race are on three. Kerry McAvoy, Glenn Boss and Damien Oliver. Yeah, all go. going for four. I think if you asked me if they could reach the heights and get to those... Can do it. Get to, it would be Kerry McAvoy because of his age. Yeah. And I know that uh, Glenn Boss and obviously Damien Oliver are at the, the twilight of their careers now and uh, who knows when they might ride for another year or two. But Kieran McAvoy, for me, has probably got another seven or eight years to go. Punters pick. Who's you, who are you going for in the your trifectas in this uh, in this cup? BM? I'll tell you that in a moment. I've got a little surprise for you. Okay. What about you, Cuz? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll tell you what, guys. I've I've changed the my picks a lot. Yeah. And I changed them again uh, <laughs> yesterday and then this morning. But I'm I'm, I'm incentivised. Yep. Uh, I just think he could be one out of the box, that yep. it could be just a freak. And I hope he hasn't come to the end of his prep yet, but with Peter Moody training, I don't think so. Uh, and then I liked Spanish Mission. For me, horse to beat, for incentivise, is a horse to mm -hmm. beat. Uh, and then I put in Twilight Payment. Even with the weight, he's got a soft draw, he's going to roll, he's going to get an easy run. Yep. And then fourth, I put in Floating Artist. I nice. think that this horse, for me, if it gets... An uninterrupted run could surprise. Yeah. I'm going uh, incentivise on top, Spanish Mission, Grand Promenade, and uh, if you wanted a roughie from me, maybe maybe Pondus at about 40 to 1. OK, here's how I see the <laughs> Melbourne Cup. Yeah. Here we Coming go. around the home turn now, and Grand Promenade's up on the outside of the leader over on the inside, Twilight Payment, and here comes Incentivise. He's got into the clear. Incentivise going after Grand Promenade. Grand Promenade, two lengths in front at the 300 metre mark. Incentivise starting to run him down. They're followed by Spanish Mission. On the outside, the favourites hit the front now, Incentivise. Fighting back on the inside, Grand Promenade. They're going stride for stride. The favourite's got his head in front, Incentivise. He gets up to win the Melbourne Cup. Up from Grand Promenade, Spanish Mission is third, fourth home is Delphi, and the others have gone out of view because I've run out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Bravo. That that <laughs> there you go, guys. A little treat for you. I used to do that in another life. <laughs> Until you Fantastic. all started winning Cox plates and then you moved postcards. Got too smart. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might just have to cut that bit out and make it the show. <laughs> Very well done, BF. Thank Very you, mate. Well my pleasure. And pandemic's my best. If you can wait for the last, yep. if you're yep. still standing. Pandemic, yeah. I'll race, go with him. Race 10, uh, Scratched on Saturday. Perfect race for him. Yeah, he's a $5 elect at the moment with betdeluxe.com.au. $2 a place as well. And uh, that's uh, that looks a good, good each way, BB, yeah? OK, for those who just missed the call, uh, 2, 16, 3 and 7. Yeah, that's my two, uh, four 16, for the Melbourne Cup. Beautiful. Yeah. I went uh, my best of the day, Cuz, in the Greys race. Uh, yep. yeah. Obviously a race that, uh, you know, opens up everyone's eyes, seeing every grey horse going around. But mm. I like not to be missed. Um, OK. Nick Ryan, Reese McLeod, that combination when they get together, obviously he's a stable jockey, but for him to ride on these days, uh, it's the horse for me and uh, don't worry about last time. Yep, I'm going to be with uh, Husay at the moment, Shay Eden and, uh, and John McNeil. Didn't mind the, um, the trials and jump outs leading into this, this race as well. Uh, barrier six, not too fussed about first up 1,400 metres. And uh, the other horse I wanted to be with, there was a, uh, a horse with uh, John O'Shea and James McDonald, promised a success. Yes. Uh, is racing really, really well. Uh, comes down here with 1-2-1. One, one, and uh, I think she's going to run a really good race uh, at Flemington this weekend. 
Fantastic, guys. Really enjoyed this. Uh, might do it again next year if we're all still standing. <laughs> <laughs> we're out of, out of uh, COVID. Um, a great day coming up at Flemington. You know, we can have pop-up races and all this sort of things. This is the race. It yeah. is. You've ridden it. You're, you're privileged. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've been very fortunate enough to be in it, take part a few times, and I've had a second, third, fourth, fifth. Gee, you're due. Yeah, um, but... As I said about the boys' age before, I'm getting older as well, uh, and I get injured a lot. Yeah, <laughs> you, you'd be back quicker than ever, though. Fingers really crossed. So Good idea. make sure as well leave the uh, trifecta picks for the punters' pick in the Facebook comment section too for your chance to win that thousand dollar Dan Murphy's gift voucher as well. And make sure you review the Bet Deluxe app on the Google Store or your app stores as well to make sure those entries are all valid. BM. So big weekend coming up and a big Tuesday coming up. I've got my glasses, I'm heading off. <laughs> I'll find a little box somewhere and might even do the cup again. Good on you guys, great to have your company again. Inside the Barriers, brought to you by Bet Deluxe. Serious betting for serious punters. Gamble responsibly. Inside the Barriers, brought to you by Bet Deluxe. Serious betting for serious punters.